Tap the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss out on unique stories from 101 India. We talk, sleep and drink the ice cream. Until today, the US Embassy just rejected us. Just like that. And the reason was that they said you have no strong reason to go there. So what bigger reason, reason could there be to present our country? To let the world know that at far far place we to exist. The girls you saw in the video are from the Tibetan women's football team who were asked to represent Tibet in the Dallas International Cup. Their visas however were rejected because Tibet is not recognized as a country by other nations. I'm on my way to Clement Town, Dehradun to meet these girls and understand the 6 decade long struggle of Tibetan refugees. morning so it is 5:30 and thand bahut hai yaar bahut thand hai the team comes together to train twice a year and before every big tournament and they have invited me to attend this camp and see how they train morning sir kya hal hai this is really really nice to see the sunrise after so long gompo dorji who is coaching the team is a former tibetan men's national team player and the brains behind this camp is kasi childers an american teacher who came to india to study buddhism but found herself in the midst of this refugee situation tibetan girls didn't play football they had a men's national team that was doing some pretty cool stuff for tibet they didn't have a women's team and that was when it was like a lightning strike Tell me tell me about the about the camp then where did it start where is it now The way we did it was we contacted seven different Tibetan boarding schools and just said each school send three girls I'm I'm there during the the winter holiday and these 27 girls show up most of them had never touched a ball before I told her she's not Tibetan, but she still help our Tibetan women's team because we don't have country. We uh, we are here refugees, so that's why she help us. This Tibetan women's football team was formed in 2012, and so far it has engaged more than 3,000 young Tibetan women living in exile. Playing from Tibet side is like still I'm following my history's root parts where I I'm from. Actually, I should be there in Tibet if the China didn't crap Tibet. After the anti-Chinese uprising in 1959 failed, most of Tibet's monasteries were destroyed and thousands of Tibetans were believed to be killed. The 14th Dalai Lama fled Tibet and set up a government in exile in India. The main thing is human right, you know. <clears throat> We don't have much human rights. Whether they say Tibet is a part of China, I disagree. China is a different country, and Tibet is a different country. They occupied. What what I do know is what these players tell me. They're not allowed to to express the true essence of their Tibetanness. They're not allowed to live their way of life. There's no person in this world who's more important to Tibetans than the Dalai Lama, and they're not allowed to have a photo of the Dalai Lama. So there is no freedom. And for many Tibetans, if they can give one of their children the chance at something better by coming to India and getting a good education and and being around the Dalai Lama, then they'll do it. They take this chance. And you know, most of them were sent, you know, at the age of 8, 9, 10 from Tibet by their parents alone. Yangdan Lamo trekked over the Himalayas when she was 13 and even survived a week without food. 13 years ago I can't meet my family because of I can't get the visa. It's very difficult to get the visa. I call my mom and them but we can't talk the political about this because of the china that know everything there is a lot of fear amongst the tibetans who live under the chinese rule 
they try their best to never make any mention of the country and the rich culture they have lost. And imagine those girls who doesn't have a family here and they are worried, you know, when they flee, maybe Chinese will torture them. You can understand, you know, what they are going through. After fleeing from Tibet, adjusting to a new society for these girls becomes difficult. Organized sports is a way for Tibetan women to enrich their lives and have a more positive influence within their community. On the first day, the thing that struck me the most was that they didn't speak, these girls. They're often not really given the opportunity to express themselves and, yeah. and speak. I realized, you know, I'm gonna have to not just concentrate on football here. This is gonna have to be like a full empowerment curriculum. After football practice, the players attend an empowerment session, where the idea is to create a safe space for them to talk about issues of gender equality, societal pressures, and the Tibetan cause. A girl from five girls, and I'm the youngest. And it's very hard to um, deal with them. Then I said, and why you, if you don't accept my opinion or uh, things, then why you send me to school? I'll tell you one time that I decided not to give up when we were in Delhi at the embassy, and the girls came outside and Gongbo was holding the passports. And I knew we didn't get the visas. But then something changed. And what it was was you girls. I look over and I see you're writing this letter, and then you're making a video, and then said, not give up. They don't give up in her. Football, this is just a tool to catch. Chini hota, chinti logo kisne ke liye. To wo wo soch lo ek tool hai. To humne wo usko khichna hai, to khel khilana hai, women empowerment ka kaam karna. Here, here is like other small family for me. We live together, eat together, play together. It's other part of my happy life. So, Cassie, tell us about some fond memories and memorable incidents. <laughs> <laughs> no, things that yeah. happened, you know, like, yeah. tell us a story. So, we got this invitation rather suddenly to go to Germany. Uh -huh. I think about like two months before the actual tournament. They called me, they'd heard about us, they said, we want you to come. Right. There's going to be a Chinese team here. They got the significance of this. That was yeah. part of the invitation email? Yeah. P.S. P.S. Chinese There's going to be a Chinese team here. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we're going. You know, we had talked about this a bit in advance, like what are we going to do when we meet the Chinese team? You could see it written on their faces. They're taught to, to hate these people. But we talked about it a bit. And one of them said, we're going to be friends with them. And this little van pulls up, and somebody yells, the Chinese team is here. And they, they go right up to the van. Chinese girls are getting out, and they start hugging them and welcoming them in Mandarin. And so they ask, if you are Tibetan, then why you come from India? So we tell, we don't have, we don't in Tibetan, we don't have country. I don't think so fight is battle to the we got the feet down. It's the we have to suppose and we conversation with the sports and is friendly we can do something. Sports can bridge divides that politics can't. Tibetan athletes have the opportunity to initiate a new form of dialogue with the Chinese and the rest of the world. We have so much as full citizens of a powerful country but that's just a matter of chance. At the end of the day, there are certain human rights that everyone on this planet should be ensured. And Tibetan women with their football are fighting for these rights. 
There is nothing that these girls want more than to be able to help Tibet, to be able to help their families that are back in Tibet. And so through this team, through football, I try to provide them that platform. Every time they go out onto the ground with a Tibetan flag on their jersey, that really means something to them. That flag is outlawed in Tibet. Since we can't go to Dallas, we're gonna make our own tournament right here, and we're gonna call it the Never Give Up Cup. Nice. And we're inviting three Indian teams, and we're gonna show them what Tibetan hospitality and Tibetan culture is made of, and show that we can play host too and create wonderful experiences for others. Please like, share and subscribe to this video. We have YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.